Hello and welcome to Warp Team Brick. And uh, we find ourselves in a strange situation where I'm transferring some resources on a uh, spacecraft. Because if you didn't see the last video, you definitely should. Uh, these two Kerbals are now stranded without enough Delta V to get back to Kerbin. And after taking some of your suggestions, I've been able to figure out a, a method to get them back. It starts with uh, removing unneeded weight from the spacecraft. So I'm removing some uh, supply containers that have been emptied. That's why I transferred the resources into other containers. That uh, we can minimize weight while, st while still keeping the maximum amount of supplies possible. And so, with uh, that uh, mostly done... Well, probably the main thing is that we need to get into an orbit where the rescue uh, bug which is a very um, interesting spacecraft, which we will get to later, where it can uh, reach us within a uh, set amount of time. Since we have uh, just a few days of uh, consumables remaining, and uh, the, well, I have Kerbal construction time, the tug will take uh, time to uh, build and uh, roll out to the uh, launch pad. So uh, while this uh, mission is flying, I actually do have the tug all right under construction. And we're also making a maximum use of the RCS. And so yeah, we're going to perform two maneuvers to first escape them on, and then lower our periasts around Kerbin, so that again we can get as close as possible to a rendezvous with the tug. And yeah, we're that we're using the mod propellant, all the uh, all the liquid fuel, just all the delta V we can use. And before you uh, point it out, you know, I cannot use the EVA pack for infinite uh, Delta V, as uh, that is a patch with herbalism. But yeah, we continue to burn with everything we got. And there goes the main engine, but the RCS thrusters continue to burn on. And actually using uh, physical time warp there, because uh, yeah, we actually do have a pretty decent amount of R uh, RCS uh, Delta V. So our orbit is actually significantly lowered by the use of the RCS. But still, we're going to be at thousands of kilometers above the atmosphere and need the tug to get the rest away there. So we would run out of food and water anyways before reaching the atmosphere, so yeah, we do really need a rescue. Yeah, the craft is now completely out of Delta V, and the crew, and the crew all they can do is wait for the rescue tug, which launches on this uh, Barbarica launch vehicle. It's four solid rocket boosters, plus to round a one ro solid rocket booster. So yeah, I built this as quickly as possible, and I did not really care for optimization, as it just needs to work. We're also, we're also uh, launching from a wide guardian, which uh, it's a Adrenas cube launch site that's at a higher altitude. Space Center, giving us a better, uh, just giving us better performance uh, at launch, since the atmospheric pressure is lower. And so we can uh, pretty quickly ascend. I actually have to uh, start uh, pitching down, uh, due to well, just to avoid our aquaps gaining insanely high. Actually, I uh, start overheating a bit uh, towards the end of the uh, first stage burn, a core stage burn. Yeah, now that uh, the uh, booster is detached, we can now use a uh, more reasonable terrier engine for the, rest of the, for the rest of the mission. And this tug, it's a uh, claw because we removed the docking port from the spacecraft, some uh, consumables, and uh, well, some solar panels, and uh, some uh, fuel, and an engine. It's as simple as possible. And I'm doing a very high delta V uh, trajectory to uh, reach the uh, spacecraft in time. Which, uh, yeah, I really overbuilt this for this reason specifically. So after those two maneuvers, we can uh, get a pretty close encounter. And I'm doing a, a trick I like to use, where if you want to ensure that you start bringing at the correct time for a rendezvous, have a uh, maneuver and set it to the relative velocity it shows at the encounter. That way it will tell you of when to start burning. You can see the crew only have just hours of consumables left. 
And so, yeah, we really need to uh, hurry up with our docking. And so, we're just a few kilometers away. So, we can burn towards the target. Do a bit of a time warping. And do the normal docking approach. And just a few hundred meters away. You saw me do a quick save there. I'll just continue with that throughout the mission. As we approach, we can do another burn off our red velocity. And pretty soon I'll switch over to the spacecraft. We must stop it from rolling because I thought that looked nice for that one same act shot, but it's gonna make up docking significantly more difficult. And by docking, I mean grabbing onto it with a claw. Now, for some reason, this didn't work. The first few times I tried it, and after some game restarts, I finally got it to work. But here's the attempt that worked. And there we go. Ignore that, that ignore how that definitely would have a punctured crew cabin. The crew already have EVA suits on on there inside the spacecraft, so they'll be fine. Now, the engine was running out of ignitions, so I did an interesting uh, maneuver where I serviced the engine while it was close to the engineer, then moved it to where it's supposed to be. Or you saw what I did there, and uh, yeah, a very interesting technique since we did not have a model propellant for an EVA. So now, finally, we can do a deorbit burn, transfer a bit of consumables over into the capsule, and do a pretty standard re-entry. I mean, just ignoring the fact that we'll have to detach the uh, tug after we, get, after we detach our lower stage, oh, the uh, spacecraft uh, uh, service module ready. And uh, you saw that there, I've uh, left the uh, tug in a orbit around carbon as just a well just in case I need it at any other point in the future. I'm not sure why, but um then again I did get into this mess. Now reentry is pretty standard. And we're actually re-entering a re-entering slightly slower than a, a normal uh, un reentry since we were in a uh, lower orbit. And yeah the heat shield uh, holds up fine. If for some reason on a previous attempt the spacecraft melted for unknown reasons. But yeah, we survived re-entry just fine. And now it's uh, simply we deploy the parachutes and uh, wait for a splashdown to occur. And there you go, uh, the uh, drogue shoots. You know, wanted to get a nice uh, Gemini-esque shot from the uh, capsule windows, but that didn't really work out, did it? Yeah. Group shoots are fully deployed, and the main parachute seem to follow. And so now we just come send it down. And so, after a very a dramatic series of events, the crew have returned safely. Uh, however, it seems Flashdown has messed with the electri electrical systems of the capsule. Yeah, they're safe and sound, and uh, yeah. I want to uh, thank you for watching. I also want to thank everybody who commented on the last video. Yeah. Goodbye.